This one beauty step in your skincare routine can not only help your skin remain blemish free, acne free and healthy but can also prevent the onset of early wrinkles. We are talking exfoliation and the three best ways to do exfoliation. Let's go. Exfoliation is a big buzzword among the beauty gurus as well as customers. Everybody wants some kind of exfoliation in their skin routine and with good reason. Exfoliation is one part of your skincare routine which can dramatically change your skin for the better. Exfoliation helps remove the dead cells on your skin so therefore helps the healthier younger skin cells to come up and make your skin look really plump and hydrated. This rhythmic exfoliation or regular exfoliation also helps prevent blemishes because just the fact that dead cells are being removed rhythmically and you know on a regular basis and the younger skin cells are now up it prevents blemishes from becoming darker and be becoming more stubborn so it's absolutely great for blemishes The best thing about exfoliation is that it actually helps prevent wrinkles because the skin is receiving such good uh, quality skin cells on a regular basis wrinkles don't form too easily and because of that you don't even get a lot of uneven skin tone so exfoliation is a win all for reducing blemishes preventing wrinkles to come for a great skin tone or to prevent uneven skin tone and lastly to keep your skin nicely plumped up and healthy but how do you do exfoliation there's been a lot of noise about the fact that you know physical exfoliation can actually damage your skin over a period of time by causing micro tears but these micro tears do get caused but they only get caused if you're doing uh, exfoliation with the wrong ingredient or if you're doing it in the wrong manner the wrong ingredient could be something like a walnut shell uh, if you're using that for your for exfoliation that can very very clearly you know damage your skin and second is the way you're using it if you're going to rub the exfoliation uh, product into your skin with a lot of force that is bound to cause a lot of damage and micro tears are bound to happen so it's important to not only use the right ingredient for exfoliation but it's equally important to use the right method to do exfoliation the right method to do exfoliation is to use a little bit of the product and gently you don't need to use pressure because you're only working in the top layer of the skin so you need to use a little bit of pressure a little bit of water there should be a lot of slip in the product means it should move around very easily on the face and neck area and you go around where in small circles all over your face and your uh, neck area and then wash it off with warm water that's the right method now it comes to the products for exfoliation the number one product is a physical exfoliation which could be your coffee beans so you take a little bit of coffee add ghee in it which is my favorite beauty oil we have done a video on it it's going to be listed here and you mix it up and gently apply it on your face and neck area Coffee is really really great for exfoliation because you know it is uh, got caffeine in it and caffeine is known to plump up your blood circulation and also uh, help you in reducing the lymph in your face so not only does it help flush your face and give it a nice plumped up look it also kind of removes the lymph and therefore gives your face a nice uh, tight and a uh, uh, youthful look especially good around the eye area where the lymph tends to pull up and give you a puffy look on your uh, eyes So highly recommended. A coffee scrub you can do twice a week with absolutely no damage on your skin. And if you're using the right kind of grounds, you will not even get micro tears. So just make sure that you're keeping it in the oil for some time so it kind of softens up and do not use pressure when you're using it. Highly recommended. The second exfoliation, the soft exfoliation is my favorite with the Upton powders. I've done a video on how to make a great Upton powder and why it is great for your skin. The video is going to be listed here. This Upton powders gives you something called a soft exfoliation because all the ingredients in it are soft. So once you grind them, they become very fine powders and have no jagged edges or roughness in them. What you need to do is use your favorite either raw milk or curd depending on your skin type. and keep it for about 5-10 uh, minutes till all the ingredients kind of soak in and become nice and wet consistency apply it on your face mask it for about 10 to 15 minutes and then take a little bit of water and go in round directions all over the mask and kind of uh, scrub it out of your skin uh, face or neck area where we apply it some people use it upton all over their body which is not a bad thing it was gives you this beautiful super plump skin So soft exfoliation is again excellent for the skin and you can use it almost twice thrice a week if not more because there is no 
damage that it causes to the skin. In fact, it gets your skin to be really healthy and plumped. Always in my bathroom when something I really, really love to use. The third type of exfoliation is the chemical exfoliation, which is done by a lactic peel or among the favorite, the ordinary AHA BHA peel. Now, the AHA BHA peel has been used and well documented a lot on YouTube. The only thing I recommend is that you do not touch the dropper to your skin and in fact, you know, keep a little distance when you're dropping it, the product onto your face. You got to be careful with this uh, peel because you shouldn't use it on very raw skin or very broken skin or even if your skin is very sensitive or if you had a procedure done on your skin because it can cause scarring, damage and even burns on your skin, especially when your skin is broken. So be careful about that. The way to apply it is to put it on your face and let it rest for 10 minutes and then take a wet towel or a cotton pad and then wipe it off and then wash your face so that you don't have too much of product on your face when you wash it. One thing that I really like about this is that it can help your acne because it kind of unclogs the sebum in your skin and gets the newer, healthier uh, cells to come up. And because there is no sebum, there's no gunk on the skin, so therefore your skin definitely improves a lot. It goes deeper than the physical exfoliation, so definitely recommended for troubled skin like acne. Not recommended for fungal acne, especially if it is very raw, because like I said earlier, it can damage and burn your skin if your skin is broken. When you use this, you feel a little bit of burning initially. It's for about a minute or so, but it settles down completely. However, if the burn continues for more than a minute or two, you need to wash your face with cold water and not let it sit for too long because uh, that could actually be your skin telling you that the product is actually irritating it a lot. So got to be a little cautious when you start using it the first one or two times and then once you know how it goes with your skin, how your skin is reacting to it, it's a fantastic product to use on a continuous basis but not more than once a week. Do you do exfoliation? And if you do, what's your favorite exfoliation? Mine is a combination of this as well as um, this, the soft exfoliation. So I will definitely do this at least once in two weeks and the soft exfoliation about twice a week, if not more. With that, I come to the end of the video. I hope you found it useful. If you liked it, please do give it a thumbs up and do subscribe if you're new here. Keep in mind that whatever you hear on YouTube is an experience of one beauty YouTuber to another. So it's very important to listen to your skin and kind of judge what is good for you. What I would recommend is that you kind of understand the different angles of exfoliation from different uh, beauty influencers and do your own study on what works best for your skin. There's enough and more people who will say that this really works for a um, lot of acne issues and helps them resolve it in my experience. This should not be used on broken skin because it can actually cause a burn. It's happened to me. Uh, whereas the soft exfoliations are very, very safe for all skin types. However, if you have acne, you just have to make sure that your acne is not broken. You can use a soft exfoliation and not be worried about spreading the bacteria all over your face. Keep in mind, every skin type and every situation is different. So a lot of testing on your part will really help your skin to go along. Till I meet you next time, stay home, stay safe. Ciao!